it goes from you think it's something, oh, do I think I hear this, to, you know, there's someone in this house. All of a sudden, the chair, we had a chair sitting right in the doorway, and all of a sudden it just moves. No one near it, no one around it. I kept hearing a little girl giggling from the main hall. And usually every time we come here, we always get something from Thorman, the, the gentleman that killed Reuben Bailey. And that's what always freaks me out the most. People always ask me, you know, oh, do you plan on living here after you restore it? And some days I'm like, well, yeah, and other days I'm like, there's no way I can live here. We have returned to Indiana to visit Henry County's oldest Italianate manor. Established around 1845 by Simon T. Powell, this historical landmark has witnessed some of the country's most turbulent times. From the Civil War to possibly participating as a safe haven within the Underground Railroad. As if this wasn't enough, there's a documented case of a family member being murdered with rat poison. If you know us, and you should by now, then you know we'd love to visit one of America's darkest hours. This is Resident Undead, Thornhaven Manor. There's a lady with a little kid, and she keeps saying, we're gonna tell the lady how we died. We're gonna tell the lady how we died. Lights out. Let's go. Whatever I please. Holy shit, did you hear that back there? Was that, where was that? <laughs> oh, oh. No. Just around no. the body, around no. the body, no. around the body. I'm done. I don't feel good. Do you believe in time travel? I know what's gonna fix you. What if I told you I found a way to reach back into the past? I got an idea. Our world consists of countless portals that allow us to bridge time and space, each a doorway to a unique past. Ah! Loyalty is the only code, so I assembled my inner circle to join me. Chris Musgrove. I can feel you down here. I feel somebody down here with me. And Ashley Leckie. No, uh, no <laughs> Using a device we call Pandora, it will be our compass as we travel back to the past by creating ripples in time. Look up. Look out, though. Get up. Okay. Get up. It's time to see what the history books got right. This is Resident Undead. Thornhaven Manor. Constructed around 1850, it is believed to have been a prominent stop within Indiana's Underground Railroad. Simon Powell, a known abolitionist, would own the property up until 1901. Throughout his time here, he witnessed the Civil War ravage the country and inevitably watch his son, Orlissus, become a casualty of it. No man should have to bury their child, and losing one would be enough to break a parent forever. But Simon would have to endure hell one more time. His two-year-old daughter, Lizzie, would die a premature death, and it still remains unexplained to this day. In 1906, now under the ownership of Reuben Bailey, the home would bear witness to what was described as being one of the most fiendish murder conspiracies in Indiana history. The details are hazy, but here's the gist. Allegedly, the caretaker to the property, Frank Thurman, would use rat poison in an attempt to kill the entire family. The plot is rather simple to understand, and the courts would learn after the act that he had supposedly raped Bailey's daughter and his own sister-in-law, Melita. She was probably embarrassed to admit what had happened and realized it would destroy her sister's marriage. So she most likely stayed quiet for a while. I would imagine she was threatening Frank from time to time and telling him that she was gonna expose him. And with him knowing that the truth would eventually get out, he attempted to pull off an elaborate solution. On the morning of the murder, he successfully was able to mix rat poison in with the family's morning coffee. Unfortunately for him, he was unsuccessful at killing everyone, only Reuben. 
And after this, Melita would go to the authorities with her story, and Frank Thurman would be sentenced for murder on May 14, 1906. For this investigation, I wanted to do something a little different. Going into it, I suggested all of us do as little research as possible. And as usual, Becca would be left in the dark completely. The exception would be the names of key players. But other than that, we wanted to see if the spirits would fill us in on the rest of the story. This is an old school resident undead approach. And in the end, you can be the judge to see if it paid off. We are inside Thornhaven Manor. It's rolling around nine o'clock. We are beginning our investigation. We're gonna go around the horn really quick. Chris Musgrove. Ashley Lucky. Woo! And Rebecca Kirschbaum. Now we're gonna get right into this. We are not gonna waste any time. Rebecca has an experiment via Michelle Bellinger. And what's gonna happen is, we are gonna wrap her in saran wrap. We're gonna blindfold her. And this is basically to recreate death, as if they were dead, they have no movement, they can't see, they're blindfolded, and it will help Becca connect only with her mind. So we're gonna set up real quick, no active EVP is the start. There's a room that the owner Steve has told us about, he said it's not a good room. We're gonna start there, so let's go. Come on, Becca. Like any initial feeling here? Yeah. A lady in a hoop, <laughs> hoop skirt who's very, very creepy, and I don't know where she's been the whole time. I don't know where she's been, but she's got really long nails, and she's very, very creepy, and she's very trying to be scary, and it's working. We're going to set up some tripods really quick. We're going to wrap you up. If anything happens, we will cut it, all right? How long does it take you to get me out of saran wrap? Uh, long, but that <laughs> just no, second. Just second. yes. We got scissors. I got you. We're good. We got scissors. Yeah, back at base. All right. Let's set up for it right now. All right. Let's get double that up, double right. the sheet. Thank you. You're welcome. I love you. Um, when did I? When this is crazy. I decided I didn't realize it until right this moment. This is actually absolutely completely and certifiably insane. Yes. There you go. You're good. Keep going. The uh, gorilla tape. I got it. You got it. You got the gorilla tape. Yep. This is pretty. Huh? Poor Becca. Poor oh, thank you. Poor Becca. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna try to run. <laughs> yeah. Okay, take it. Your turn. <laughs> Nope, perfect. Great. Good. Lights out. Are you okay? Kiss my ass, Kimmel. All right, we've gone green here real quick. We've got all in the night vision. The room is now dark. I have Becca here laying on the floor. Becca, you still okay? Kiss my ass. All right, she's okay. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do next is we have a Pandora here. We're gonna set one Pandora. Becca has about five minutes. Now, Becca, if anything happens, if something's wrong, you tell us, okay? Well, there's obviously something wrong. There is something wrong, but something's really wrong, okay? All right, going live on Pandora. Becca is the only one talking. All right, Pandora's live. There's a, there's a lady with a little kid and she keeps saying, we're gonna tell the lady how we died. We're gonna tell the lady how we died. Little kid keeps saying, I don't wanna tell the lady how I died. I wanna play with her. Cackles. 
She said we were buried, you know. like to die. <laughs> oh, oh, sorry. I'm fine. I'm really okay. Lucky, she just touched your face. Thanks. Actually, no, wait, Chris, you take it because that's the weak one. Take yours and just start using it as like a mobile cam, okay? Okay, I don't know why there's a dead dog in the to my right barking at me. Like angry black dog. Oh, 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 okay. Okay. Um the dog it has it, the dog was after a, a, a slave, and it's a story that goes along with the dog was biting the slave. I don't think anything that came out of my mouth was coherent, actually. No, it was. It was. So we're gonna do. We're gonna kill it. <clears throat> Let's get her out of here. Let's get Pandora. Let's review Pandora. Uh, we're just gonna dump it. There you go, Lou. Oh, thank you. Here you go. Here you go. You need this. I've got muscles. <laughs> Keeps rocking back and forth. She's like, you want to play with me? She's in the corner, right She's by, right, right there. Yeah. She wants to play. Why would you What's say? wrong? I saw her whenever we were recording. Mm. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, no. Oh, no. I like looked over her again. No, no, no. Like, just don't look, just don't look, just don't look. Just don't look. Oh, we're just making our way upstairs we right now. I can't see anything. Oh, God, I almost just ran the ladder. Jesus. Yeah, thank you. Oh, God. Now that we're up the steps. Now that we're up. <laughs> what did he just say? I know it's ever, to my knowledge, I don't think it was ever dived up the stairs. While you were walking past, I saw an image of a man flipping down. Flipping down, projecting that image? Mm -hmm. This is the room that. Uh, leads back down to the kitchen where base is. Uh, we're already on fire, Chris. We're gonna set you up for your quarantine, all right? Okay, let's do it. All, all right, right, set it up. A quarantine is the part of the night where we will isolate ourselves in some of the location's most highly active areas. The concept is simple. Since we believe some spirits are intimidated by our numbers, this will give them the opportunity to feel less threatened. While Chris is quarantined upstairs, the three of us will go outside to the porch where Becca will be drawing anyone who interacts with him. With 20 minutes on the clock and two Pandoras running, Chris's quarantine begins now. God, I'm fing chilled again to the bone. My heart's racing. All right, we're okay, volume's down. Okay, yeah, all you gotta do is hit record on both those and they're ready to go. Okay. Going hot. There's been a lot of speculation about this manor.
We have to watch the time or two. I was even watching the time. Okay, there again, there's been a lot of speculation about this manor that it was used as an underground railroad. I need to know if that's true or false. Sure, the biggest thing growl comes from that back room. Hello? Oh my god. Ruben Bailey, can you tell me what you died from? Can you tell me what you died from? Simon T. Pow, did you harbor slaves in this manner? Still, there's movement. I mean, I'm hearing movement everywhere. Chilled again to the bone. <sighs> My heart's racing. Frank Thurman, why did you use poison to try to kill Reuben? Why didn't you just get a gun and shoot him? You don't have long. If you want to say something or you want to be heard, now's the time. Civil War. What is it? Servants' quarters? Hello? Okay. <sighs> Shit. All right. Dude, well, five minutes after you guys left, I heard the loudest growl. Really? In that room. I can't even remember what I asked now. I was, I was literally stunned. Uh, shit out of me. Yeah. yeah. Alright. Let's get up, let's wrap up, let's get moving. Alright. Alright, we just picked Chris up from his quarantine. We're gonna make our way over here. We're gonna hold a spirit box session, but we got a little twist to it. We're gonna make our way over to one of the rooms here. So what we're gonna do, Chris, we're gonna have you set up a spirit box. Okay. And uh, what's gonna be different this time is we have two EMF pumps. Um, it creates an electromagnetic field, just to, it just radiates energy, all right? So while those are pumping, we're going to pull the spirit box session on top of it. And these are two things that are probably going to make your head spin back up. Awesome. 
At least we warned you. We remember what happened in Saddamsville. It didn't go so well. Stop, stop, cut it, cut it, cut it, cut it. <laughs> All right. So, and, and the reason we're not going to use the EMF pumps while we do the, uh, like our quarantines, you didn't see that during Chris's quarantine, is they do make a light humming sound and that has the potential to pick up on Pandora, so we're not going to risk it. And for everybody tuning in, the spirit box session is like spinning your radio dial. You're going to create an artificial white noise the faster you spin. And it's believed that you can hear spirits' voices within that white noise. So with the EMF pumps blasting energy with the spirit box, let's see what we can get. Sorry in advance, Becca. I'm trying to figure out how fast you can put it. Just speed that shit. Speed that shit fast. Um, so what you're going to do is you know the routine. You're going to hold your camera. You I'm having problems with possession. Kind of, not actually possessed, but like it's the easiest way to explain it to somebody. Like somebody gets right here and they're like using my head as a microphone. That's rude. I know. Tell them not lost. Let's see, we're busy. Ain't nobody got time for that. So we're here. Can you say one more name? said enough times today I uh, just want to have a talk with anyone that may be here um, just gonna ask some nice questions here there's some things I want to understand so I'm just gonna close this here starting Pandora's starting Pandora's we're gonna start off real nice and easy is there anyone with me in this room right now? All right, another thing, another thing here. Uh, Frank Coleman. Uh, you apparently poisoned the family that was here. Uh, I've heard the story behind it. Would you like to clear your name and help me understand why you did that? Man, I'll tell you what, just moments ago, I thought I heard something dragging on the floor. Was that you?
My psychic friend Rebecca is downstairs right now and she is trying to give as much energy to you as she can for you to talk to me. Can you, can you, uh, my psychic friend Rebecca is downstairs right now. Do you know that she can see you? My psychic friend Rebecca is downstairs right now. Do you know that she can see you? Oh shit, I do not feel good. Mmm. Feeling a little lightheaded. Could be because it's hot in here. Or something else. Are you doing something to me right now? I feel really lightheaded. I'm over halfway here. I'm only gonna be with you for 20 minutes, but I'll tell you what, I definitely feel something odd. Listen, I'm not gonna let that affect me. Please give me the name of who I'm talking to right now. Stop it, is that you? I can feel the tingling through my body. Stop that, that's not what this is about. I'm here to talk to you. You don't need to do anything to me. Is that you, Frank? Do I remind you of someone? Is that it? Do I remind you of someone you don't like? Or do you not just like me? Oh. Guys. You okay? Okay. That's the first. I'm over here. I'm all right, I just didn't feel good. So I shut it down. I'm good. I'm good, yeah, I got a real numbing feeling in my back. And then I said, are you doing something to me? And then I just got chills like up my back. So it was like over here, does it even feel cold? Does it feel hot in here? I mean, like is it a little stuffy or something? Like. Good as done, I thought I was gonna pass out there for a second. Oh, shit. Right about here. Why well, was? Because I said you were standing here and he was standing there. Was he? Yes. Who was standing there? The white man. This angry white man. Angry white man. I did a roll call. I said if you're 
do I say you are I literally, I think I squished, I got chills. Like, it just felt like electricity going up my back. And I was like, oh no, oh no. I wonder if that was when I said, ow, that hurt. Did you see that? Yes, yes. Like, literally, I Did she, just, what? Yeah, she flinched. And then ouch, that hurt. I was mirroring it because I was trying to figure out what was happening. And I was like, I was like, the, the ghost is here. Adam's here, and then a minute later, I like did this twitch. I was like, it hurt. It's not good. Creepy. Creepy. Can I get you some water? Yes. I nice love you. Water. Water. <laughs> 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 nice water. 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 Nice
agree with it. I know, I know, I know. Just follow my lead. Okay, your list is, you wanted that list? You got it. This is the list? Names and all. Uh, yes, all right. Well, I can't say that I recognize any of the names or the faces. I'm pretty sure you have the wrong house and the wrong family here. You guys listen here right now. It is my right as an officer in the Confederate Army to search this house whenever I please. attacked you upstairs, the one that was in the corner. A lot of slurs, actually, including, remember, I, okay, I don't know anything about the Civil War, so it could be wrong, but uh, slur sympathizer, he said, who are you? You are not my F.O., and then I lost it, so I have no idea what he was saying. And then he, when you guys started talking about runaways, he was like, what, runaways in this place? Uh, he said, slaves are meant for keeping. He slammed his hands on the table trying to get attention because he really thought that this was actually happening in real time. Like he really thought that he was there and this was happening. He really thought he was among us yeah, as he had, was going he on. He was so confused because he kept getting caught up in it, but it didn't make any sense. So he was like, this is a bad dream. And I slammed his hands on the table. He said, the penalty is death. Runaway slaves? No, runaway slaves. We're of the Confederacy. Uh, lots of rage. Slur. Who do you think you are? I am a man of stature. Do you understand? Like he was just like, just like, rambling, just mad and pissed. We kill the likes of you. Same guy that attacked you upstairs, though. The most violent and angry person here. I don't even know if he's of this place. I can't. I don't know. I don't. I. I he might have been brought by someone else. Yeah. What's he wearing? Something I think that looked like that. Thank you, Becky. I don't know. I can see whenever I actually look at him, I can see his face. I can't really see his outfit. It just kind of scribbled down. Mm -hmm. What I can see is his hair. And I can see his, but he, I don't, I feel like he, I don't, I don't know if he's actually, a, I don't know if his house was his. I kind of like think he might just be some guy who, I don't know, I don't know. Okay. All right. Let's wrap it up. Let's get okay. moving again. All right. Watch out. There's a ladder right over here. We just finished the first ripple. We are hearing, as we were reloading, we were putting Pandora's on the cameras. What's wrong? Did you see someone in there? A face, yeah. Well, it is getting hot right now. We gotta move there. It sounds like like children talking or something. So listen, we're gonna get ourselves up there. We're gonna do an active EVP session with Pandora's mounted to the cameras. Alright? Let's go here quick. Here, watch the lighting. Let's go. There's the first thing you see. Tell us. Are you prepared to fight if that's like a thing, not a 
What's that? Are you prepared to fight if that's a thing, not a ghost? Alright, All right, on the count of three. One, two, three. Alright, is there anyone up here with us right now? We heard little girls singing. If there's anyone here speaking to any of us, we'll be able to hear you, okay? Becca, what are you feeling up here? There's a little kid that keeps saying, I don't like him. Little girl, Chris, I'm gonna have you actually ask him, have you come up? Right up here? I'm gonna send Ashley to you. Would you talk to Ashley right in front of you? I don't know. Do you know where it came from? Though it sounded like a man. Why are they leaving us? I don't know if it's like a. Stop leaving us behind you. <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't know. I heard that though. Sir, are you here? Is there a gentleman here with us? Can you please talk at one of us? Holy shit, did you hear that back there? Was that, where was that? I, I think it was... Holy shit, did you hear that back there? Where was that? I, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know. It sounded like it came from over here, though. Give us a light. Dude, what? what is wrong with Come you? On. Why are you doing that? All holy, right. Holy shit. Now, Woo. now. I don't know how to use the light. Oh, yeah, thank you. Just don't leave us. Did someone just slam something down here? Just talk to one of us. After this, we'd immediately set up for our last ripple in time. To completely throw accurate history out the window, we'd pretend that the North and South came to sign a peace treaty, and it was being done inside Thornhaven. This ripple did exactly what I thought it would do and pissed off someone on the other side, most likely the same spirit that really believed the first ripple was happening. Since 70% of the responses were straight up screaming and yelling, there's no need to have you sit through that. So what I'll do is highlight the three EVP captures out of the 15 that were able to be understood. It's also possible that we finally made contact with Frank Thurman, the one who tried to kill the entire Powell family due to an unwanted pregnancy. Wouldn't be too far-fetched either, since we did make a jab at him. Sounds like we should celebrate. Jim! Oh, wait, it's uh, Frank. <laughs> I can't even say that. <laughs> Gentlemen, you agree that we're going to put an end to this nonsense war? Absolutely. I agree. It's cost this country a lot of lives, a lot of money. And I don't like wasting money, as you know. This is a new era of peace for the United States. No more brothers versus brothers. No more blood. We ought to celebrate. Absolutely. We ought to celebrate. Absolutely.
We're going to celebrate with Frank. Bring us out some drinks. After the completion of this oddly assembled ripple, huh, we'd quickly redress and head upstairs after hearing what sounded like several people walking around. With this whirlwind of activity suddenly picking up in the early morning just around the corner, it was time to give the most fearless girl I know her quarantine. Get me out of here. I don't want to do this. No, you can do it, Lucky. You no, can do I don't it. Want to do this. Lucky, it's not. You can't back no, out. What you don't can. you understand? Ten minutes. I, to... I really don't want to do this. Seriously, though. <laughs> you, Kimmel, get that out of my face. I don't want to do this. <laughs> We are setting up for Ashley's quarantine here real quick. It's all scattered. The activity's crazy. We don't have, we're just moving with it. We're going to tie you up so you can't get out of here, Ashley. I do not feel comfortable with this at all. <laughs> but in the car, she felt comfortable with it. So you yeah, know. well, that was hours ago. <laughs> uh, you get 10, Kimmel. Promise me 10 or I'm not doing it. Oh, uh, you get 10. I'll, no, there's no 10. pushing it. You told Becca you give her five and you went 10. Do you want the blindfold? No, f you. I don't want the blindfold. No, no, the no. Legs, no. Yeah, yeah, around the body. No. Just around no. the body, no. around the body. No. Around the body. Yes. Guys, are you kidding me? No. Oh. No, it's okay. No, I'm done with this. I'm I'm right. It's so ladies' right. night on RU. I'm not even kidding you. Ladies' We're night. Like, this is just because it looks pretty. You stand right outside the door. I, outside the door? Yes. you got to be brave. They're going to see me and they already hate me. F you. Stand right outside the door. Starting recorders. Pandora's are running. All right, as I'm sure you're all well aware, I'm Ashley. Why are you here? Why are you here? Do you want to be here? Do you want to be here? What do you think of the ripples in time? Did it remind you of anything? We've been hearing you all night. What are you trying to tell us? Are there any 
secrets here that we should know about or you care to share? After spending 24 hours at Thornhaven Manor, we've come to a clear conclusion that this historical Italianate manor is one of Indiana's most haunted. We were unable to establish clear communication with any of the former family, which doesn't rule out that they're not here, but in our opinion it would seem that there is a very hostile spirit that's in control of the majority of the haunting, Nemesis. It's not clear if he was ever associated with the property or brought here by fellow ghost hunters, but regardless he is quite responsive to your presence. Hopefully the next teams that pass through here will be able to communicate with the less dominant spirits. With Thornhaven Manor complete, it's time to tackle the next haunt. Make sure you follow the entire team on Twitter so you can keep up with our plans. And for new people tuning in, you can catch up on past episodes at residentundead.com. No, no Florida water. Yes, Florida water. No Florida Are you water. Sick, Adam. Okay. I don't know what it was. I, I'm sick. I've never felt that before. You know what? You're getting it. Deal with it. Adam, I have a question. Ha ha ha. 